I can't confuse my job with your religious beliefs no more than you can. I'm at work. You know, I want you to understand that. When you're at work, and I get tickets myself, and I honor them because the bottom line is, I go by my spiritual belief. Which ship? What? Which ship? What? Which ship? How did we get to America? On ships, right? So, it, it, did everybody on the earth go into slavery on ships? Who went into slavery on ships, brother? Black men. That's right. Crazy. Romans 11 and verse 36. Yeah. For of him and through him and to him are all things. Are uh, what? Are uh, all, all things. things. All things go through your how about some That's right. Everything. So he get all the glory and all the praise, right? That's right. Let me, it off. Let me get the book of Isaiah 50 verse 14. Let me get Jeremiah 50 verse 15 right here. All right, let me get the book of Isaiah 58 verse 1. Let me get the book of Joel 2 verse 4. Alright, we're gonna start with um, Jeremiah 50 verse 15. Book Jeremiah 50 verse 15. Bring it out. Shout against her. Against who? Shout against, against her. her. We're shouting against her. This wicked kingdom, right? Babylon the Great. You see brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. Oh, um, earth giving that shout. Look at that shout. Let me get that right quick. The book of Isaiah 58 verse 1. Bring it out. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. That's what we're doing throughout the four corners of the earth. We're crying aloud. Yeah. Bear not. Do what? Bear not. not. We can't spare nobody, right? Hey, brother, you got two minutes for the words of the Lord? Or, well, brother, we not black or African American, we the Hebrew Israelites. That's right. right. We're living in the last days. America's gonna call down by nuclear fire. Ah. Right. Ah. Spare not. Lift up thy voice. Do like what? Lift, lift up, up thy, thy voice. voice. And we gotta lift up our voice. We gotta shout in these last days. That's ah. right. Read. Like a trumpet. Like a what? Like, like a, a trumpet. trumpet. And those trumpets are about to sound after the seal. Cut! But we gonna get into that after this. We got it, King. No, you got it, King. Joel, chapter 2 and verse 1. No. Blow ye the trumpet. Do what? Blow ye the trumpet. This is what we're doing around the belt. We're blowing the trumpet, right? Because the one that's really gonna blow the trumpet, he gonna come on that on that, on that, on that seventh trumpet, right? Read. In Zion! In what? In Zion! Oh, no, in, 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 with the Edomites. In Zion! With the Moabites. In Zion! Zion only. Right, the Lord said you only have our known, right, Reed? And sound an alarm! And sound what? And sound an alarm! And we're sounding an alarm. The alarm is that we're living in the last days. Right. Why are people not taking heed to that alarm? Right, let me get that in, in Jeremiah 6, verse 17 right quick, right? We're sounding our alarm throughout the four corners of the earth, right? We're telling our people what's going to be following them if they don't repent and come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments, right? right? They're going to face the judgments as the Edomites, right? That's Their right. judgments are already written and set in stone. That's right. right. It's already stamped. Six, Who can seven, turn it back? Right, Jeremiah 6, verse 17. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 17. Bring it up! 
Also, I said watchman over I, you. You do what? I also, I said watchman, watchman over you. And that's what the Lord do. That's right. Every time before he destroys something, he'll send out his prophets to tell you what's going to be fall. God. He just don't destroy something out of nowhere. God. Right? That's what he's doing right now. He's sending out his prophets to tell you what's going to happen to America. That's right. right. Babylon the Great will fall by nuclear fire. That's right. Right, right Reed? Say, hearken. To say what? Say, say hearken. And we, that's what the Lord said. He said this prophecy is telling his people to hearken. Right? Read. To the sound of the trumpet. To the what? To, to the, the sound, sound of the, the trumpet. trumpet. What they do? Read. But they said, we will not hearken. But they said what? But we they said, hearken. we will we not hearken. But they said, we will not hearken. God. Right? So now they got to hearken to what? The seven trumpets being blown and how it's trying to destroy them. And that's what people, don't, that's what Yahweh don't want to do. God. You don't have a pleasure in that, but what? Your stiffness, it's oh. all your weight. Oh. You hard headed. Why right, read? Therefore, hear ye nations and know, O congregation, what is among us? Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people. He gonna do what? I will bring evil upon this people. Evil is coming to Babylon the Great. 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 Evil is on its way. That's right. Right, we've been saying this for years. Brothers been saying this for years how these things is gonna happen. Right, the things is gonna be falling. Cut! Right, and you can see on the news, things is ramping up. That's right. right. Are you ready? Are you are you listening to the trumpet? Are you being alerted? Right? Are you moving in the spirit? Cut! Read, read, read. It's like read. Even the fruit of their thoughts. Even the what? Even, Even the, the fruit, fruit of their, their thoughts. thoughts. The fruit of their thoughts. What's in your let me get the book of Mark 7 verse 20 right quick. Alright, what's your thoughts like? Alright, what are you thinking on a on day-to-day -day basis? The Lord said, wash your mind from wickedness. Right, are you are you honestly doing that? Are you truly washing your mind from wickedness? Do you have your thoughts on your how about seeing your side? Because he said he's going to establish your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Let me get the book of Proverbs. What do I got to do? Let me get the proof. The book of Proverbs 16, verse 3, verse 16, verse 16. You got it. Book of Mark 7 and 20. Read on. Oh. Said, that which cometh out of the mind, it's like a, that which cometh out of the man, that defiled the man from for from within out of the heart of men out of the what out, out of, of the, the heart, heart of men your heart is your mind right that's where mostly everything comes that wicked thought that's that right thought right uh, uh the doubt spirit the fearful spirit all that's that comes right. from that mind right read proceed evil thoughts we do what proceed, proceed evil, evil thoughts. thoughts and that's proceed evil thoughts and you cannot have evil thoughts in the time of Jacob's trouble. And if you do, you gotta wash it. You gotta wash it away quickly. Right? That's right. Before it overtakes. You. Right, read. Adulterous. Fornication. Read that one time from adultery. Adulterous. Adulterous. Fornication. Fornications. Murders. Murders. Thefts. Thefts. Covetousness. Covetousness. Wickedness. Wickedness. Deceit. Deceit. Lasciviousness. Right. An evil eye. Blasphemy. Pride. Foolishness. All these evil things come what? from within. Come from what? Come, come from, from within. within. All the things that come from within because you're not washing your mind um, from wickedness consistently. Because when you do wash your mind, this is what should be, um, should be sprung out. You got it, kid. Book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 3. Oh. Oh. Commit thy works. Commit thy what? Commit, Commit thy, thy works. Work, right? Unto the Lord. And thy thoughts shall be established. Yeah, what? Thy, thy thoughts, thoughts shall be established. established. That's what you want to do. If your thoughts is established by your house, you're going to be you gonna be in good hands to take a trouble. That's right? right. Right? And that's what people have to know. The Lord, let me get Micah 3 verse 6. The Lord said he changed his life. He won't change. Only you can change. Right? Somebody will find something to preach this. Oh, the book of Malachi. Right? Malachi. Book the book of Malachi 3 and verse 6. You know. For I am the Lord. I am the who? For I am the, the Lord. Lord. Right? I change not. I do what? I, I change, change not. not. The Lord said he changed not. Right? The Lord said he's going to be with you in those evil days if you keep his commandments. Right? Read. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob, Jacob are not consumed. consumed. That's why we're not consumed. Right? Because the Lord made a covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why we're not consumed in these last days. You got to keep Micah chapter 3 and verse 6. Right, he, he right there. Right. Yeah, Book of Jeremiah chapter 50, starting at verse 16. Bring it on! No, finish 15. Ah, from the top. Shout out to her, bro. She has given her hand. 
Her foundations are falling. Her do what? Her foundations are falling. In her foundations is falling in these last days. Babylon the Great is falling. All right, let me get that in Jeremiah. I mean, not Jeremiah. Let me get that in the um, uh, get Jeremiah. I think it's what's that? Uh, let me get, let me get Revelation 18. Let me get Jeremiah 51 verse 8 right quick. I think that's what it is. Book of Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 8. Bring it on! Babylon is suddenly falling. What? Babylon, Babylon is suddenly, suddenly falling. falling. That's what we're seeing. It's suddenly falling. All these things is happening because that great show throughout the four corners of the earth because we came back to our heritage. Right. And destroyed. And what? And, and destroyed. destroyed. How for her? Take, take bomb for her pain. If so, if so be she, maybe ill. We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. She won't be healed. So right, you know Babylon came out the Roman Empire. Right, but the Lord is coming down with the, as that chief cornerstone to, to destroy it. Right, so can't nobody heal Babylon in these last days. Right. The Lord is coming back to heal the Hebrew Israelites. Right, you got to see. Right. Thought he said nineteen. I mean, Revelation 18. Oh, what is that for me, King? Revelation 18, verse 4. Forsake her. Forsake, who what, do what? Forsake her. her. Let's forsake the world in these last days. This right. even the movie said, leave the world behind. Right. Right. You have to leave America behind. That's these right. These things are coming swiftly. Hey, brother, are you ready to forsake America, brother? Because you know America, brother. Like you got to miss the Lord. My bad, brother. Hey, but you a Hebrew Israelite living in the last days. That's right. America will get destroyed by nuclear fire. That's right. Right. Read that. Read this from the top right here. Drop from the top. Forsake her. Do what? Forsake her. You have to forsake Babylon the Great in these last days. All right. Let me get that real quick. In Revelation 18. Revelation 18 and verse 5. Bring it out. Uh, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. Do what? Come, come out, out of her. her. That means forsake her. You have to come out of America. Emotional. You can't be emotional. I mean, attached with America, right? You can't be worried about what's going to happen to your family members if they're not in the shoe, right? Right. You, sh you should know what's going to happen, right? You shouldn't be worried about the fearful things that's going to be part of America, right? Right. Because why? Because your thoughts should be established while you have a shot, right? right? Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. What? Now you be not partakers of her sins. You can't be partakers of the sin of Babylon the Great. Right. So the Lord says he's, he's coming to destroy all city. Hey, brother, can I get Isaiah 13 verse 9 right quick? Isaiah what? Isaiah uh, 13 verse 9. The Lord is coming back to sin, to destroy anybody who's sinning, who's doing everything contrary to the law of such commandments. Right, right. Book of Isaiah chapter 13 verse 9. Bring it Behold. Behold, the day of the Lord coming. Behold, behold the, the day, day of the, the Lord, Lord coming, coming, right? Cool. Both with wrath and fierce anger. With what? With wrath and, and fierce, fierce anger. anger. I have holds I have long time holding my peace. That's wrath and fierce anger, right, Reed? Uh, to lay to to lay the land both desolate and he shall destroy the sinners. He's gonna do what? He shall and he shall, shall destroy, destroy the, the sinners, sinners thereof. thereof. He said he's going to destroy the sinners thereof. So if you're sinning in these last days, your yeah, Howard Shah is coming back to kill you. Right. Right, you got it, King. That's cool. Calm. What you got, King? Revelations. Yep, keep my reading on that. Right now. Yeah. Revelations 18 and verse 5. Right now. Now verse 4. That ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven. What happened? For her, her sins, sins have, have reached unto heaven. The sins have reached up to heaven. Right? That's what you see. The Lord is tired of what the white man wickedness they put up on the earth. He's tired of his wicked fruit. So all these things, the Lord is what he's judging for that. For as a nation. Huh. Right, Reed? And Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. And do what? And Yahweh have, have remembered her iniquities. And Yahweh will remember the iniquities of what they did to our people and still do to our people. Right. He didn't forget about the slave trade. Right. He didn't forget when we was in slavery during the, during the time of uh, 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 Grecian. Right. During the Romans. Right. Right. During the time of the Renaissance. Right. He didn't forget these things. God. He remembers them. Right. So when things come to pass, you gotta remember what side you gonna be on. Let me get that in Joshua. 24 verse 15 right quick. Right? What side are you gonna choose in these last days? What side you choosing? Are the Lord gonna choose your side for you? Right. Bring it Life up. Bring it up, bring it up. Uh, the book of Joshua, 
24 and verse 15. Bring it on! And if it seems swaggy, so and if it seems evil. And if it what? If, if it, it seems, seems evil. evil. If things that we do seem evil to you, man, something is wrong. If people say these things are evil, bring out the words of the Lord is evil. They call us a cult. Call right, they call us every name in a book, but we actually the light of the world. Right. You don't even understand it. That's right. Right, read. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose, choose you this day. day. What? Choose, choose you, you this, this day. day. Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, choose you this day. Right. Because we don't have that that um that much more days to come. Let them know. That's right. Right. Read. Whom ye will serve. Whom what? Whom, Whom ye, ye will serve. serve. Who are you gonna serve? Are you gonna serve the white man and all his riches? Are you gonna serve your how about send me outside for sake the world? You got it. Whether the gods which your fathers have served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell, but as for me and my house, me and my who? As for me and my house, me and my brothers. We will serve the Lord. We gonna do what? We, we will, will serve, serve the Lord. Some of my y'all was shot, right? And that's straight like that's that. That's right. We gonna serve the Lord in these last days. We, get, we know the judgments of the Lord. And we know the promises too, right? And even the Lord said we all get sick. We're all getting for the same person. All right, what you got, kid? <laughs> you got it. Huh? This is the truth. Look at Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 15. You know! Shout with his heart round the about. <laughs> She has given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Her walls are thrown down. Her what? Her, her walls, walls are thrown down. down. And the Lord is throwing down the walls of Babylon the Great. Yeah! He's building up the walls of the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah! In the book of Jeremiah 15, verse 20, right? He's building up the walls of the Hebrew Israelites, right? I can't, nobody, shit, like y'all was and can't nobody throw our walls down in these last days. That's right! Ever. The book of Jeremiah 15, right? verse 20. Hold on, Bring it on! You won't ever see a prophet. A white prophet in our kingdom of heaven prophesying the downfall of our kingdom. Right. Who you know, said it? A Moabite can't prophesy the downfall of our kingdom. Can't do it. Right, bring it out, king. And I will make thee unto this people a fist brazen wall. A, a what? A, a fist, fist brazen, brazen wall. wall. That's who the Hebrew Israelites are going to be. The ones who keep God's law, and commandments, the elect. Right, read. And they shall fight against thee. And they shall what? And, and they, they shall, shall fight against thee. Who's going to try to fight against us? Right, you're gonna have other nations still gonna buck up and still try to fight against us. But what's gonna happen? But they shall not prevail. They shall what? But they, they shall, shall not prevail. You can't prevail against the Hebrew Israelites. You can't do nothing when the Yahweh Shimei is on our side. Right? They say it was other Lord, you can't overthrow it. Right? Right, read. Against thee. For I am with thee to save thee. To what? To, to save, save thee. And that's who's with us to save us. Salvation is coming for us in these last days. They tell you not even book of Isaiah. Let me get Isaiah 14 verse 7 like this. Alright, the Lord says to save thee and salvation is coming. Right? It's about that time. Right? Salvation is coming! We've been here for 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 for, for years. Thousands! Right? With with them white people ruling over us. Right. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 7. Bring it out! The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth and sing. She said, "Good boys." What? Good boys? She said, "Good boys." She said, "They're reading the Bible." Good boys. Man, I wish I would have heard that. Right. God, for I am the verse fifteen. It's like a 21. Right. And I would deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I would what? And I would deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. He said he's gonna deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. Right? The Lord will do that. Right? He's gonna deliver you from the hand of the white man. Right? right. King. God. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. And out of the who? Out, out of, of the, the hand, hand of, of the terrible. terrible. And we know who the hand of the terrible is, right? Isaiah 45 and 17. Bring it on! But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. But who? But, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord. He said, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord, right? Read. With an everlasting salvation. With the what? With, With an everlasting, everlasting salvation. salvation. So you're going to have an everlasting salvation. Right? Read. He 
shalt not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Who? World, world without, without end. end. There's no end to the Hebrew Israelite. That's right. There's no end to our world, right? There's no end to us, right? You got it, But God damn, that's plain. Chapter 13, verse 7. Bring it out. Bring it out. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Wow. Jeremiah 50 verse 15. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Praise the what? Praise the vengeance of the Lord. Vengeance is drawing now. Let me get to the Lord 32 verse 35. Right? Vengeance is drawing now in these last days. Ah. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 25. Bring it out. And it reads thus The sword without and terrible within shall destroy both. 35 and 32. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 35. Bring it out. To me belong vengeance. To who? To, to me belong vengeance. Vengeance belong to the Lord, right? Rick? That's right. And recompense. Their foot shall slide. Their what? Their, Their foot, foot shall, shall slide. slide. Their foot is sliding. It's right in our face. Anything, ah. that, anything that's uh, um, known to them, like, great, right, it's sliding. They're exposing the things that they do behind closed doors. That's their foot sliding. That's right. Right? They're bringing down their own kingdom, right, Reed? In due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand. It's what? For the day, the day of their, their calamity, calamity is, is at, at hand. hand. And it's really at hand. Oh, time is getting God. Right? You got it, King. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. Make what? Make, make haste. haste. They ain't making haste. The Lord said them white men are feeble. Yeah. People don't think they're feeble behind closed doors. That's why they try to do as much wickedness as they can. Because they know what? Satan will soon be bruised. Right? Under feet. Unless they teach, uh, unless they're God, Satan. Right? Read. Read on in verse 36. For the Lord shall judge his people. Shall what? Shall judge, judge his people, people and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone. Their what? Their, their power, power is gone. They don't have no power. You got a key. And there is none shut up or light left. And that's the plan. You got it. Look at the song. Look at the song. Chapter 14, verse 7. Look at that. Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. Oh, oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. Right, so the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. Right. Right, because only these people on this board, which is the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, will be saved. That's right. Right, read. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. The who? The, the captivity, captivity of his people. people. That's what the Lord is going to bring back in these last days, the right. captivity of his people. Read that out. Jacob shall rejoice. Jacob shall who? Jacob, Jacob shall rejoice. rejoice. And that's why we're going to rejoice, right? We're rejoicing the Lord bringing back the captivity of his people. That's right. Look at that in um, Baruch. 3 verse 7 right quick. All right? And now I pray this to the Most High, man. These things is, is coming quickly, right? The Lord yeah. said, keep watch. You have to keep watch. Or I'll come in on thee like a thief in the night. The book of Baruch. Three of our seven. Bring it out. For, and for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts. And that's what he did. He put that fear in our hearts to write with the Lord. Right? Everybody has that fear now, right? Read. To the intent that we should call upon thy name. And that's what we do. We call upon the name of the Lord. Because right. in the world we did call upon the name of the Lord. That's Whatever right. I call our ex. I but my family down today. I'm easy. Right? Might might call your mama. Right? Might call your 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 best friend. Right, your man's, but nobody call up, call up on them the Lord. But now when we down and out, we call on y'all by sending y'all shot. Right. right. That should be the first person you call up on. Uh, right, read. God, and praise thee in our captivity. And do what? And, and praise, praise thee in our, in our captivity. captivity. That's what we do. We praise the name of the Lord in our captivity. That's right. Right, in our praise, right? Hey, brother. Can, can we leave your fire? Okay, bro. Appreciate it. All right, stay warm, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stay long, King. Stay long, King. Stay warm. Hey, real quick, brother. 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 Brother.
No, you good. Take Take vengeance, Take vengeance upon her. As she had done, do it to her. It's like, it's like. I can't confuse my job with your religious beliefs no more than you can. I'm at work. You know, I want you to understand that. When you're at work, and I get tickets myself and I honor them because the bottom line is, I go by my spiritual beliefs. It's different from yours, but I respect yours. But I'm saying is, you gotta respect the law. Now we know that law come from God, whether we like it or not, we gotta be obedient to it. Christ, where I come from, said, pay your taxes. He said, he ain't said nothing about follow me. He said, just pay your taxes. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar. So give unto the city, the Caesar, what is Caesar like I do. I don't like paying my taxes. I hate it. They take all my money. I got over some money. But I got to do it so I can stay in grace with God. Right, God I didn't do it. Hey, King. So, I mean, so all I'm saying is, I can't mix your beliefs right. with my job. I be fired. You see what I mean? Hey, King, King. And I go, I go that. Repeat, though. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Can I ask you what's his, I, I, I feel what you're saying, 100 percent But now can I ask you a quick question before you leave? Yeah, Since you up here. So you said our beliefs are religion. Well we don't we don't believe in religion. We believe in a heritage. No, all right. beliefs don't believe in religion. Now, all beliefs, if I misspoke and correct that, all beliefs are not religious. I'm spiritual, but I fall up under a certain category. Uh-uh, don't put me on TV, I mean, it work, bro. I get on film anytime I want to, man, believe me. Gotcha. I do all the styles. I get on anytime I want to, you go around it, but I don't even do it. All I'm saying is, for me, I got to be obedient. You're you right. And you got to be obedient to, to, to the way you serve God. Right. So he bless you. Do you know, so do when you know I'm, how to when serve I'm God? Obedient, things start to happen in my life when I'm not obedient. Okay. And he puts What's me back name? on track. What's your name? William. William. So, you believe in the Bible wholeheartedly, right? So, do you believe in the Bible? Bro, yeah, I do. All right, so, do you know how to serve, lo serve I mean, love the Lord according to the Bible? Yeah. Hell. I love my spirit, my soul. All I'm right. about to get into that. Check this out. I can go back and tell you who wrote okay. the Bible. King David, I mean, not King David, uh, 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 what's his name, wrote the Bible? No, uh-uh. I'm talking about the King James Version. I understood that the dude that the dude was a homosexual, killed you all, did all that madness and all that. But the bottom line is, everything is under everything. Everything is under God. All right. He let the demons do what they do to make you even stronger, even straighter. He allowed them to punish you. They can only do what he allowed them to do right, to right. you. Period. But now, so whenever, I got one quick point though, before you, before you kill horns, I got a, it's a disclaimer because. King James didn't write the Bible. All right, no, 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 it's his version. Yeah, he's very like, Do you know who wrote the Bible, though? But I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this. Please. No, well, hold on, but do, but do you know who wrote the Bible, though? Black people wrote the Bible. It's, right, it's, it's, people it's, that look like me and you, that was I know, I, I know that, but I go, I go way back, Paul. I'm saying this. So called back people. Check this out, actually, check this out. Check people this out. Is check this out. Sorry about this, but King James wasn't a homosexual. And uh, oh, Anthony Wolden, yeah. he came up with that uh, that rumor after King James was dead. So King James couldn't defend himself. So Anthony Walden was his uh, steward. I thought, or his, his, so I, I thought you said, I thought that was what saying. But anyways, the whole point is that that rumor came after King James' death. Anthony Walden, you can look it up, he tried to tarnish King James' name and say he was a homosexual, he was a pedophile and all these different things. But that rumor is just not far, is as false. Oh, right. so okay. like well, I miss, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, say this, I'm going to say this, the reason why I made that point was, and I follow the King James Bible, let me check this out, now, now, what I say is spiritual, you can switch that, there's all different types of versions of the word of the Bible, but when you're spiritual, you can read between the lines, like the news on TV, everybody can't watch the news because they don't know what they really see, but if you had the ability to read between the lines, you can see what's real and what really ain't real. Right. So everybody, everybody not spiritually conscious. That's for those who are conscious. I'm hey, supposed to lead those who are not to a higher level. Now, but this scheme is coming in words. A lot of, a, a lot of, a lot of books are not right. But when you have discernment, you can see the truth in them. That's why I say spirit. Now, we, now right. let, me, let me, I'm gonna go way back here. Now, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on. Okay. Go you you got to go on the ring. I'll go press you one time. So first, I gotta show you how to love the, love the Lord according to the Bible, because that matters. Absolutely. Right? Because if you tell your, your your lady you love her, but you beat on her, do you truly love her? 
No. Okay, bro. So we gotta see how well, hold we can Hold on, hold on. But let, let me bring hold this on. out right quick. You know, know what you think is love, because some people don't know how to love, and so beating on them is not. Well, let me show you how to love the Lord. For them, it's not a way of trying to. Well, I'm already against. I'm already against the semantics. I'm already against the semantics, brother. You know the I'm trying to bring before. Right. So look, I'm gonna bring this out to show you you actually love the Lord according to the Bible. Right. Right. Book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it out. If you love me, if you what? If, if you, you love, love me, me keep, keep my commandments. commandments. Do what? Keep, keep my commandments. commandments. One more time. Keep, keep my commandments. commandments. That's how. Let me get another witness. Watch this. Another witness. I understand that. So what's the point? So if you actually, because you said you love the Lord. Because I understand this is I'm about four years old. I know the inside out. All right. So all the scriptures so I'm about to go to, I know them. And my thing is like this is, you can't talk when you got to live. You do. So and what's this? Check do this you, out. Do you I, 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 I want you to understand something. Hold on, hold on. I'm from Chicago. I'm from the south side. I just saw Hebrew Israelites, the whole line of them, said Cologne, perfect. We talking about maybe before you was born in the 80s, 70s, 80s. I, I, I'm from FOID, Farrakhan's group and all of them. I've been around the uh, Baptist. Yeah. I've been around there, the, the Church of God in Christ, the whole thing. I've seen how everybody walking has friends in school with me how they grow up. I've seen every belief get high, smoke, crack, do hair, run, be cheat on women. But I don't judge them as that because they're what? They're human. And so long as you live in this flesh, bro, you're going to make mistakes. If you're not, you wouldn't be dying here. Okay, now so what's you got, you're going through your trial, personal trial, tribulation as you can grow. All I'm saying is, I'm saying is like this is, I didn't say it to put down Hebrews like this. I'm a Christian myself. You got some dirty low down rotten Christian. But they, they say they're Christian, but they're really not. Because Christ like means to walk in the light as he's right. walking in light. Christ, everybody don't do that. Is. Everybody got to their be own a of Christ, so Christ we gotta way. maintain each other. Say, hey bro, hey bro, pull yourself up. You're on the wrong path. And if he listen, he'll draw near to that and he'll change his ways. All right, so everybody like Christian. that. Christian means what to be a follower of Christ. Yeah, Christ like. So right. what did Christ so what did Christ do when he walked the earth? He said walking in light as I'm walking. Right, he kept when we love God. Keep his command and do what? And, and keep, keep his, his command. command. That's plain. Because the Lord said in Ecclesiastes 13, verse 12, that's the whole duty. What's that? 12, 13, 12, 13. 12, 13. It say that's the whole duty of man to keep God laws to the commandments. That's why we fell from that high state to that low state. Because we need to keep God's laws to the commandments. It tell you that in the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. He said, All these curses shall come on thee and overtake thee if you don't keep my commandments. I'm gonna tell you one curse to prove to you how the Hebrew is like. Because you said you know this Bible front to back, right? So you should know this verse right here, right? Look at Deuteronomy. You know this verse? Um, wait, wait, wait. Deuteronomy 28, right? Look at Deuteronomy to the 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into who? Into, into Egypt. Egypt. Do you know what the word Egypt means? Right, it means stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because during the time of Moses, Moses went to Pharaoh and said, "What? When when, they, when the um when the Hebrew Israelites was in Egypt, Moses went to the Pharaoh and said, let my people what? Why is he telling the Pharaoh to let his people go? Because they're in what? They're in bondage. They're in bondage. Right. right, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into what? Into Egypt. Slavery. Again. Have you ever went back to the land to the landmass of Egypt as nation of people? Do you Hold think on. we're in Egypt right now? Another level, either, right? We are. Hold on. Let me, let, hold on. Let me finish this. I'm going to show you. Because I'm proving, I'm proving it with this preset right here. All right, read it. Read it from the top, King. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt. Slavery. Again. 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 Now, how did our people get to this landmass as a nation of people? By what way of transportation? What you mean, how we get here? How did we get here? We was already here, bro. We was. You talking about the Northern Kingdom, we but how did, how did our people here? They ain't bring here. no 200 million people on no ship. Where the ship right. at? They ain't never brought two, three, four hundred million people I'm across a, no I'm ship. A, now I'm about to prove they it to you. They don't even have a ship. Listen. I'm about to prove let it to you say, right let here. Let me say this. You got, you got Africa, and you got black people are indigenous. The Indians came from the mountains. They bonded and blended with us, made a deal with the white folks, and they did their own thing. But check this out, check this out. You talking about I'm about to you. Black people have been on it. Look, bro, I've been all over the world. I've been, so I've been to museums where they got black people on elephants. Stuff you'll never watch see this, here. Brother, watch this, watch this, watch this. I understand that, bro. All I'm saying is like this is, we are, we are, God, we are made for the earth. We come from the earth. We don't come from, we don't come from no other planet. He said, you know, he said, I get man to mean over earth. He didn't say human, man. We are men, black men. And when you understand who and what you are, 
then you able to do higher and greater well, things. We're not black because are you the same color as your as your hat? As your as your as your scarf? A man. A man. But let me tell you something. Everybody keeps telling my colors will make a difference. Like hell it don't. don't. It's just like hell it don't. don't. My mom is black. And right. I'm not it's not about her black color, her color. But, but nobody black or white. This I'm saying. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna argue colors like you say it's It don't matter about but, the, but 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 to me as a man, when I look at my mama, it do make a difference that she did that, that, that who she, what she says she is. Because one thing we have a spiritual bond and when I look at that woman of color Color black does right. make a difference. And you know what she, 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 what 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 you 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 made from when you get out to that space out there. There ain't no light out there. They can't even see the sun when they get out there. You've never seen the sun. You're gonna stay on the top. Line, line. I'm about to show you something. What I'm saying is, we are made from what's out there. That when they when they talking about what they doing with the series and all, the, all they trying to do with the space and all that type of stuff. That's what you created to do. What Adam did. Name all the animals you created. Free to free to free to God like I didn't even, spirit. I didn't even, I, I, I didn't even finish our preset. I'm sorry. Go ahead, bro. Bring this out. So it's the ahead. last um, known slave ship that, that hit uh, U.S. It's called the Catilda. The who? The, the Catilda. We hook these things up because we actually did get brought here by slave ships, brother. That's the one, brother. Brother, how did we get here? By a nation of people. By what? Ships. That's plain. Check this we out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We was already here. You, you, you're not wrong. Let's this out. Bro, I've been around all different type of Africans. Right. Nigeria, I mean, I've been, uh, some right. speak 18, 19, 20 languages. You're right. Some of them speak white too. Let me tell you something. Me and them, well, I, when I walk up on them and see them, we ain't got nothing spiritually in common. I can see you in a crowd of white folks, and I can spot you at that corner. And me all maggot, man. We got we got some sort of rhetoric. We, we don't have no connection with, with, with Africa. That's why when we was in Africa, they pointed us out. We the ones over here now. You from the limb. So how did we get here? Why you doing DNA testing? I like you, you said this. So how did we get here? What the lineage you really come from? The DNA test. They go to the hospital. They take blood. They take blood. Hold on. Blood. Hold on. Blood. We said, blood. how did we get here from Africa? We were brought over. Some of us were brought over. By Not what? all of us. Not all of us. But about what? Huh? About what? Over by ship. Okay. Now watch this. Bring this out, King. Now watch this. And read that from the top. You got it, King. Do it on 2868. Bring it out. Bring it out. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Bring it out. Going on. And the no. Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Slavery. Again. Again. With ships. With what? With, with ships. With who? With, with ships. ships. By what? With, with ships. ships. That's plain. That's in the case of the Bible that you read. As you said, you know, from the front to the back. Right. 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 He said he was going to be here by the way of ships. And the brother just brought out a source to show you that our people went into slavery by way of slave ships. He literally proved it. Right? Um, the Lord said prove all things. So watch this. Watch this. Brother, why? I speak unto thee! It's not no different how you got here. It what? makes it different. Yeah. 15. Because of sin. Watch it. Because and what sin? Huh? And what sin? Sin against God. Bring it out. First John 3 verse 4. Everything gonna come back full circle. You always do. Watch this. Well, let's, 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 let's bring it back home. If it was John, it's like it. First John 3 and 4. Bring, bring it out. What sin? Whatsoever, like a whosoever committed sin, Transgressor, also the law. Do what? Transgressor, also the law. What is sin? Transgressor, also the law. That's plain. Keep going. That's plain, brother. Everything is going to go back to God, law, statutes, and So can I ask you? All praises. How do you get the king of heaven? How do you get the king of heaven? All right. Get that on camera. Bring it up. I missed it. Watch this. Everything going to come back full circle. That's right. Watch this. For the Matthew 19 Watch verse 16. Not, Bring it out. Hold on, hold on, brother. I'm, not, from I'm my, not talking about it. From my spiritual point of view, you can't even. It, it's just not about what you It's not about what you think. It's not about what you think. I'm not speaking of grace. I'm freaking out the grace. God just speaks what I can't Let's see what the Lord says. Let's see what the Lord says. Obedient. Let's see what the Lord says. Matthew 19 and 16. Bring it out. Behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So everybody wants everybody want eternal life, everlasting life. Who doesn't want that? Go there. And he said it to him, Why callest thou me good? There, there is not good but one. one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. What? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. What? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. 
the first it was sixteen hundred. But did you get that, brother? Did you, I you heard that? I agree with that. I know that. This is from the Bible. First, I'm not speaking from my belly. Six hundred thirteen. So I'll come on to uphold the law. Six hundred thirteen. He said, "I got ten for I got. You can't keep sixteen hundred. I got ten for you. And man ain't made to keep ten. Right? Can you prove that? So all those, so, 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 Can you prove so, that? So all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, you got, can you prove you that? Cannot you cannot keep the law. You can't say something not prove it, brother. What I'm saying. I'm in work, I ain't doing that. I'm saying, I'm saying, what keeps all, all of us is grace. Because if God will take his form and take from around us, the devil will snap us up in the heart. A second of a beat. So we all, we all through. But because of grace, that's what God, that's what God gives us. You can't not But the question, you, 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 asked, you asked a great question earlier. What, what, you said, why did we get brought here by slave shit? Right. You said, why? No, I was asking you a question like that. I mean, like, like, why? No, I'm gonna I ask know you. they brought that. But why? Slave. We put ourselves Why, though? Huh? Why? I, I, I said, because it's sin. Right, read it now. Let's cool. I'm not talking from my bed. I'm talking from the Bible. Speaking about. I'm sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it on. What? It shall come to pass. These things will happen. Now, this is our proof of prophecy that will happen. This is written around 1406 BC. And these things just came to pass recently, around 1619 AD. The, um, um, I'm letting explain, Frank, right? Yeah. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments, to do all his, what? To do do all all his, his commandments. commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses! That all these, what? That all all these, these curses. curses! These things right here are curses that put up on our people. Right? You you see you see these images? Let me see something. Right? This right here is curses that put up on our people. It's really keep God's commandments. Right. It's still. People get hung on trees. They they neck snap the people. Right? Burn the lives. All these different things is curses. It's really keep God's law that's from ready. Right, that's why we curse this next to the people. So how do you think we can, we can get back to being on the Lord's good side by doing what in these last days? Because we didn't know brother was living in the last days. That's right! We don't have much longer here. And what's righteous, right? Let me get that. I'm related to the new conversation. I know about the curse to see See, check this out. Y'all might be too young to know, and you got the account how to live and understand. I've been down south with the black dude. You walk in the store, you had to bow the head. You say you wouldn't. They're, they're here. Everybody, everybody, all with I'm, I'm a man. I said, no, you wouldn't. A lot of people die, so we might live. I've, I've been down south. We had to walk. You had to step on the side. You had to step in the road while the wife would walk. People walk down. You couldn't look him in the eye. You couldn't say nothing back. Those are strong people. You know why? Because, because they did, they kept, they survived, so they may live, and so they could have a generation, and generation. They, they could have ever stood up, they could have stood up, and killed a whole lot of people. Not but because, because of Lord, brother, we, you talking, brother. I'm proving things out the Bible, brother. You gotta, you gotta prove something out the Bible. Because right. if I was just up here just talking my heart away, what I'm talking about, I'm, ta I'm talking about reality. But I'm talking about the Bible. Talking about reality. I'm talking about the Bible. It's reality. I don't, don't speak, speak, I don't speak, speak I, don't, I, don't, I don't speak out the word. Just so you know, you Hebrew Israelite, I'm a Pentecostal Christian. So that's on the highest level. And see, let me take let, let me say this. Let me say this about the club. Because I've been around 50 years old. I've been around, bro. I've been to most states, most countries you've been to. But it ain't got nothing to do with you being a better man or knowing information I don't know. I'm just telling you about experience. I've been around all the type of nationalities and people. I like the Hebrew, I like that you put the word out there the way you want to put it out there. But let me just say this to you. Forcing anything over anybody is not going to get because they harden their hearts up, harden their souls up, and they ain't trying to hear. I don't care what you push and how you're talking. I get traveling, stay to stay selling. I done sold them racist ass white dudes say we don't like you, bro. Come on in anyway. We don't have niggas in the house anyway. And I said, because I'm trying to get, get, get my thing called. I'm saying is like this. And all Hebrew is like, bro, I done been to the church in Chicago, Hebrew is like, I grew up in the neighborhood. All I'm saying is, when you push your kidney, your ideas on the right oh, yeah. They push back. Not talking Maybe some out of love because they don't know how to handle that. That's even even with Christianity. I don't talk, I don't talk Christianity to nobody. You know why? Precept King. Unless they, unless they ask the court to say something. I'm because because, because I'm the word tells me, the word in my Bible tells me, don't argue with nobody, don't debate with nobody. But somebody else quickly want to know, then it's your duty, your job, to explain to them and then say, see, like you, like you all doing, see, it's your fact. Right? Go find for yourself. Don't believe 
Not no man tell you. I'm gonna bring this out to you. You've been talking for a long time. Now. Uh, Jeremiah 17, verse 9. Well, no. The heart is deceitful. He said the heart. So the heart is it's the mind. Right, read. Above all things. So the heart, above, above all things. things. Right, the heart can't think for you. So the whoa, 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 whoa. The heart is not the mind. The heart is the mind. So can, can your heart think for you? Your heart is a separate entity. This heart. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The heart is a heart. You have the spirit in your stomach. You have the spirit in your stomach. You don't let me talk. You have a gut feeling. That's a spirit in itself, by itself. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening to y'all. I'm gonna go because I'm gonna because I got to move too. You had a gut feeling, man. That's a spirit inside. Let me right here. It's called drawing off your life. Let me get some records. 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 Let it's like it's desperately wicked. Who shall know it? Who shall what? Who shall, Who shall know, know it? You know what I'm saying, but everything I'm, co I'm coming out, I'm bringing from, what I'm telling you, it's coming from the Bible. It's not coming from my heart and what I think. Right. It's not about what you think, right? It's about what the Lord is saying. Everything say, thus said the Lord. And everything I brought out, it was thus said the Lord. The Lord say, if you don't keep my commandments, you will go in and study by the way of slave ship. Right. What happened to a nation of people? Right. Now, as to how do we get out of this predicament as a nation of people? Because, hold on, our people are still in the gun. Our people are still getting gunned down in the streets, right? Our people are still on welfare, right? Our people are still uh, 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 down bad in, in our in these communities, right? But as a nation of people, how do we come back together and get out of this predicament? I'm asking you that. I'm asking you that. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Go ahead, Johnson. Cogs, book of Jeremiah, chapter 13, verse 10. Bring it on! This evil people which refuse to hear my words, which right, won't. that's what happens. A lot of people are evil because they refuse to hear the words of the Lord. Right? Right. right. It's attack. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, it's, I, and, it's, that's and that's why. And that's why. And that's why these people. Hold on, but you said you said we talk. You said we talk. Hold on, let me just say something. You said everything got cut from the word. Now you said you said the word in the imagination of your heart. If you if you know what I'm talking about, you would know that everything I said. They walked after other gods. A lot of people walk after other gods. Right? They don't walk after one god. Right, read. To serve him and to worship him shall even be as this girl, which is good for nothing. That is what? Which is good for nothing. Sorry, good for nothing because they don't keep God laws, statutes, commandments. That's the whole duty of why we was put up on the face of the earth. Right. Us not keeping God's laws, statutes, commandments, we get put what? Curse upon us. And now we're in sin. Ah. Right? So how do we get out of sin by keeping this law, statutes, commandments? So I'll ask you a question. You eat pork? Do you eat pork? Do you eat pork? Hey, you know, child, don't do much. Like, uh, uh, okay, let's go even deeper than that. Now you're going to eat meat, period. Hold on, bro. You have veins, not great to eat meat, period, sir. Right? Let's go back so, to where Adam did. It was all fruits and vegetation. Who is who the first? Who is the first thing to find to eat meat? But, Biblical. Let's stay on the top. We're on top. We're talking about The giants were man never ate no meat. Man, that's how I eat animals. God created animals before he created things. He didn't say I created animals so you could eat the man. Like I was saying before, that brother just brought out the heart is deceitful of all things. He can find the problem for the world. Absolutely. What you got here? What you got here? John 12, 40. John 12, 40. Verse Thessalonians 5, verse 21. Bring it out. Prove all things. You listen to that, King? I hear you everything you say, right? First Thessalonians 5 21. Prove all things. The Lord said, What? Prove, prove all things. things. You have to prove everything you say, but you can't just keep on saying things and not prove them. You got to prove Right? Now I have a Bible right here. Check you this out. Everything you when say. you become a spiritual man, you are spiritual. Listen, 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 and then it becomes a part of who and what you are. You're not going to be, you're going to be, it's who you are. Everything I told you is biblical. It wasn't you say, she say. Everything I told you. Not that everything. Not everything. Everything, everything, everything I told you was biblical. Not everything. I ain't getting no he say, she say. When I spoke about the giants, in the direct word where I say it, it's not in the Bible. So 
But I'm letting you know because the word said what? Study to sell yourself a food, right? Yeah. Say study to sell yourself a food. And it's in the story. So when you study, when you study, you learn that God can, you already know this. God can have a story for you, man. He didn't say I create the animals for you to eat them. Did he? Did he say that? 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 Did he Fruits, berries, apples, all the type of fruits. They was not eating animals. Right. Like anytime you put saying, the blood of these things in your body, it changes who it was. Because you said everything you said talking about the Bible. So you have to prove to me where it says it's a sense of the Right, right. You gotta prove that. Well, 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 there's one thing with the price of that. <coughs> we know you really eat lots of the, the, the demons into the field. So a lot of people say, well, you know, you know, you know Bring it out. To make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. I understand. 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 Obviously, y'all had a conversation, good conversation, but the point is, right, we have a set of rules that we have to abide by from the Most High God, right? And you, I understand that you agree with that, right? You don't eat pork, all phrases, right? You eat fish? I do eat fish. You eat shrimp, crab, and lobster? I don't eat fish. I don't eat fish. I don't eat fish. All phrases of the Most High, so those are commandments that the Most High God has given you. At the end of the day, the Most High God commanded the Israelites to walk. Right, even after that, and all praise to the Most High, you abide by those laws. You even abide by the laws of the people. Hold on, real quick, real quick. I got. I've been, I've been a king and sinner, brother, my life. I'm just letting you, I'm just letting you know. I've been at the top of the list. So, so you know, I haven't always lived right, but do it. But until I let it go into my spirit and marinate through some trials and tribulations and wanted to better myself. Brother, what's your nationality? Good. What's my that nationality? Good. What did God call you? You said me, you know me. No, no, no. What did what did what did what did what did God call you for a nationality, brother? He didn't call me nothing for a nationality. You sure? So nobody on the earth has a God given nationality. We all have different nationalities. From God. Because So what is yours? My nationality is for me. It's spirit. That's not a nationality. That's not a nationality that F missing is going back to a bloodline of people you descend from. So I'm asking you a direct question. You, you want me know say, what you want me to say the Israelites and Hebrew. I want understand. you to say what you think, not what make me feel good. I understand. I'm not gonna say what make you feel good. Right, right, so I'm asking you I a question. Like that. So I understand I understand the lineage. I understand the lineage from beginning to now. I understand the division. Understand, understand but what's your nationality, brother? What did God call you, brother? Man. Right? That's not a nationality. <coughs> that's a gentleman. Right? You want me to tell you what? That's all we have to do. We just up here to enlighten our people about what God called them and not what man called them. Because guess what? Man is the one that called us African Americans. We're black, right. Man is the one that called us black people, Asiatic, right. Irish American, and all these other different terms. But we supposed to go by what the Most High God called us, not by what man preferred to say. Because you you got children if your mommy asked them. Yeah. Right, you, when you had your children, you gave them the name, right? That's how the Most High God is. The Most right. High right. God has children, and guess what? He gave them a name. So let's go and figure out what that name is. I'm gonna listen. Listen, I gotta go because I got the man. Y'all got me here. Yeah, yeah, brother, work. got you here, brother. Right. Look at Isaiah chapter 45. That brother go that thing. In verse number four. Bring it out. And it reads, <laughs> For Jacob, my servant's sake, and an Israel mighty elect. All right, it said, an Israel mighty elect, read. I have even called thee by, by thy name. He said, I have even called thee by thy name. So the Most High has called nations by their names. That's right. You got multiple nations on the earth that have all been given a name. 
So the point is, brother, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans would make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. That's the whole point, brother. And the whole point is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, according to the Bible, archaeology, history, science, and most importantly, what the Most High God called us. Uh, right. So the point is, brother, would you be a so-called African American according to society? Society, you see that. Hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick. Would you be according to society? Not what you call yourself, but society would look at you and they would try to lay through that, right? So the point is, brother, you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. That's your God-given nationality. That's right. That's right. Most high God referred to us as. Right? Joe. Not man and all this other different stuff. Are we men? Of course. You understand? But at the end of the day, Right, the most high God gave us a heritage, a nationality, and a name. What's your heritage? You say what's my heritage? Yeah. What's your heritage? Because when you came up here, you say you're Pentecostal, that's the highest degree. What does the word Pentecost mean? I don't know. I can't say that. I can't say what I do. I come back to that because, you know something, I want to brush and talk to class for 20 years. So if you so, talk to so, class for so, 20 so, years, so, you should know what Pentecost means. I've been standing for half an hour, though. And so, what I'm saying is, I go to the Church of God in Christ, Pentecostal, Baptist, yeah. Southern Baptist. And did they ever teach you what the nationality was? Yard, and went to a Catholic school under, they teach under, you under, under the Jesuits was? and wasn't even Catholic. they teach you what your nationality was? Who? Oh, which one? All, everything that you just named. Well, in a, in you said you've been here for 20 years, you did church school, you church this, the church, the church, the church. The church. It sounds like the church ain't really teach you that much. The church is a whole lot. But did they teach you the most spiritual? You can consider yourself spiritual. Yes. Do you know the Holy Spirit? What is what does God say spiritual is? No, what do you say God is spiritual? No, no, no. It's not about what I say, brother. It's about what the God what God says. No, right. That's the That's right. We gotta we gotta stop leaning. The brother brought it out multiple times. We gotta stop leaning on our own understanding. Right. It's about what But you doing that too. How? You don't know you think you need to Romans 7 and 14. Book of Romans chapter. 7 verse 14. Bring it out. Well, we know that the law is spiritual. Well, spiritual? The, the law, law is spiritual. spiritual. That's how we're made spiritual because we follow the law. Right. right. It makes us spiritual oh, because like what's being told. spiritual, hold on. Told. What's being spiritual is being nigh unto the most high God. When I walk so up with that, what I say? Hold on, brother. So, that, so the point is, us keeping the law is what makes us spiritual. That's why we call ourselves spiritual. Just because we spiritual don't mean we don't have a nationality. Absolutely, that's right. But when I walked up here, see, yeah. you get saying that I ain't saying it biblical because maybe you don't understand. Oh, no, on I'm that not level. saying you're not saying that. I'm just saying it because he was saying it because he don't understand on that level. And we've been around, you know. I walked up here and said it's about the law. I brought the law down. And see, like that. And see, like that. That's the communication right there. You hold your eyes like this, like you ain't trying to hear me. But you want because me as a man. Because you're not answering my question. But hold on, as a man, you want me to listen to you. And it don't work like that in reality. No, no, I asked you see, a question. See, like you talk to me, when I sit here and talk to you as men, yeah. I look you in the face like a man. That's how I was told Brother, by a man in the church. I'll listen, and I look in your eyes. I didn't roll my eyes. You said somebody agreed with that right there. Because as a man, I'm gonna stand on it. I'm gonna give you the same type of respect I expect to get. Right, but you I don't get feel like talk I'm being respected you talk if I ask you a question and they you can respect a man even if you don't even like him. Brother, that's not the point. If I ask it you that a great question, that's and you point. literally that's don't answer the question. You come in argumentative, and I don't argue with people like that. I don't, I don't treat argue. men like that. But see, some things you have to be taught. Right, so do you know what I'm talking about? Have you been taught that way? Because I'll be producing to save yourself I, I, as a dope and maybe a leader, but you're not, but you're not conditioning yourself that brother, way. Do you know I, what you what mean, called, I, I talk character called character evaluation. Brother, you keep telling me about what you learned and what you've been taught. Talk. I'm talking about what you questions. learned and what you're taught. No, 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 no. no. See, this is going to go back in circles like it all day long, but I'm asking you all questions I'm about what you said. You know from I'm the back. I'm talking right. about, I'm talking and about, I ain't got to answer. Do you know tones and moves go to a uh, Brother, you talking about tones and moves, brother. At the end of the day, I said move. You guys I, chosen people. When I say tones, how you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And we got to repent and keep the commandments. That's the whole point. He just asked what I'm talking about. Go ahead, bring your person. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. He didn't ask the question. Go ahead. No, no, no. How are you going to answer his question but not answer mine? Right. You That's me. disrespectful, brother. You just you just I went like on a whole I'm rant like about how I'm like not respecting you because I looked away. No, I would ask you four you different know, questions and not answer I'm, one. No, but he sighs and now you want to answer his question. I didn't do that one time with you. That's all I see. I but but, but can you not. see where I'm coming from about how I would take it? And I understand what you're saying too. All this I'm asking is a simple question. All I, all I, all I'm and like I haven't this got is, no answers. I'm not finna argue. I got the about, runaround. I'm not finna, no, no, I didn't hear you run around. So I why didn't you answer? answer. I, what, I, what I told you was, I'm not finna give me an argue, debate about 
religious beliefs. Brother, that wasn't a religious belief. Spiritual opinions and how you You went down. to the spiritual because, because, side. All out. I said was check this out. Check this out. Check this out. And you acted like that what was you, the hardest question in what the you world. Do right. To argue and discuss it and break down my beliefs, but not one time I stood up as a man and criticized you. Oh my brother, yeah, you you guys chosen like people. You are Israelite. You got to time to keep the commandments, brother. You you getting emo you getting too emotional off no, of body not language, emotional, brother. Not emotional We're all. talking about now, a fact, simple I mean, thing I mean, that you believe in, right? You yeah. said you believe in the Bible. Now tell this out. Now just ask him. Now just ask him. No no no, 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 no. It ain't about what you ask, brother. No. I didn't ask you a lot, and I ain't got nothing. All I'm saying is, I asked him. Don't put me on no film because I'm at work. Now respect other people. Respect other people because I got. No, you good, brother. This on it's on me, King. Turn man, turn man off. All I'm saying is, no, you good, brother. We not, we not, we not feeling. All I'm saying is, check this out, check this out. I'm gonna yeah, say, yeah. I'm gonna say this in my mouth. I'm gonna walk away because I gotta go. I've been yeah, yeah, yeah. having on. I know, I know, and I appreciate you coming giving out. us your time too. I don't have anything against what are you saying or how you, how you, how you believe. I like the idea you put the word out there. I like the idea that you give me people information what they don't have. I like the idea that you grab some good, give make people study to see who they are. I'll pray some and grow. So, 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 look, first of all, <coughs> I'm asking two questions. First of all, when you came in and said about tone, let me teach him what tone is. Hold on, hold when on. you holler at your children, you go to a certain level. You go to hold a certain on, vibration. Do y'all okay. believe in vibration? Right, come on, okay, come on. At the end of the day, brother. Yes, sir. Right? And, 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 and before I say what I'm here to say, oh, yeah. I agree with what you're talking about. I understand what you're talking about, too. So I'm not trying to just dismiss it. But at the end of the day, the tone and vibrations, we trying to keep the main thing the main thing at the end of okay. the day, which is like about that. the scriptures. Like that. That's all we saying, like King. That's all it is. We just like trying to keep that. the main thing the main thing, but, but which see, is but us see. trying to teach our people who they are according to what God said and not what man said. Right. That's all we trying to say. And that's all the brother was uh, uh, beautifully teaching you. That's why he was asking you, how did we get here to this land? Moses prophesied about that in 1406 BC, that, uh, that the Israelites were going to slavery on ships. And you agreed that some of our people got over here on slavery on slave ships, right? So by default, what would that make us if that happened to our ancestors? If our ancestors, I got it. If our ancestors, we are indigenous to this. Hold on, no, no, brother, you're not, you're not listening to me. I never, me nor the other brother, never disputed that. We never disagree with that. This is something you can't. We're children of slaves. We're still slavery too. So look. My point is, Moses said that they would go into slavery on ships. Our ancestors went into slavery on ships, correct? Right. So wouldn't that make us descendants of those people, right? Because every nation on the earth didn't go into slavery on ships. That's right. Right. So the point is, wouldn't that make us the Israelites? Yeah. That's the all we say. That's all we saying, King. All we saying is that's a way of how we can prove that we come from the Israelites. I agree with you. Uh, and the point is, the reason we going through the things that we going through is because we're not keeping the commandments. Right. Uh, and what we got to do to get out of those things is begin to keep the commandments. All praises you keep the some of the commandments, but you have to keep it as a Hebrew Israelite, what the Most High God called you, and learn more and keep more commandments. Because you know what today is according to the Bible? It's the last days. Understand it? No, 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 no. Not, not. It's the last days. I'm asking. Do you know what today is according to the Bible? Yeah, the week. Like this day. Saturday, Saturday. so-called Saturday. It's the what? Saturday. Right. On the Sabbath day, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to die. You're not wrong, but we're supposed to rest. We not. We can't work on the seventh day. You rest. Right. Well, right. Let right. Me right. Say, let me say this. We, we know we're under the demonic. Do you agree with that? Huh? Do you agree with that? Oh, that we got to keep the Sabbath day? Absolutely. Okay. You, I'm listening to you, King. Right. Right. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. There's a. I'm not. Nah, this is a criticism. Do I understand the difference? When you, when you talk, when I talk, because I talk to all type of people, penitentiaries have been the whole nine yards. Yeah. Whenever you're talking to a man, you look the man in his face and his eyes. You ain't got to like what he's saying, right? Like, he's saying, but like, you turn his head off, you ask him, look at my eyes, see. And then I say, you turn your head respect. Check this out. You turn the person all the way off. They'll go from, they'll go from one of this to me and say, man, I ain't got to be there. Same way you are. You can't just put your word out there and not expect people to give you a negative response or a positive response. It go, it go hand in hand. But if you're good with bad, good with bad, all I'm saying is that takes practice and it takes a spirit to be strong. Like you stand, like you look in my face, that what you stand on? 
it take it take practice to be who what you are. When you sure about who what you are to do, you don't make no deal with nobody else. Sir. You know what I mean? You can look in their face and say, you know something, hey bro, you know, it's just like it's just like when the, the, the times when I, I started to in certain places and I don't agree with certain people. Certain people, I'm talking about hell of a people, yeah. and we in the streets, probably something you ain't never even seen before. Real people are looking in the face, say, you know, check this out, man. We gonna do what we do, y'all gonna do what y'all do. The bottom line is, there gonna be a certain level of respect. Now, if ain't no respect, you gonna do what you do, we gonna do what you do. But let you know is, we gonna back off. We gonna be peaceful. But I'm gonna stand on who and what I am. And that's how we need to be the flag. Because they don't have that do you, go, do you respect God? And I'm asking as a question. Yeah. I'm not saying you don't. Yeah. Do you respect God? Yeah. How do you know you respect Him? Yeah. I respect God by the way I live or try to live by acknowledging Him. According to uh, what do you live God. according to? I don't know. Right. Can we pause right. For and what's a in the Bible? Y'all can go do it. Sorry, thanks. You try to live according to the commandments, right? Right. Yes, in my opinion. Right. So, is it possible for you to be able to get the Sabbath day off? Have you ever tried to get the Sabbath day off before then? Why not? Have you ever tried? Yeah. No. Why not? That's a part of the commandments. You got to go as hard as you can to try to get the Sabbath day off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Before I I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to listen to you. I got you. I just want to say this real quick, then I got you. I got you. Right? You gotta make haste to keep these commandments. You can't, and I'm not saying this is what you're fully doing, but we can't pick and choose what we want to keep and what we, what we can't do. Right? So if you say you live in your life according to the scriptures and according to the commandments, then guess what? That gotta be applied as well. Right? You can't try to put things on a higher fest or this or that and this. Guess what? You said you never tried to get the uh, uh, Sabbath day off. Well, guess what? You're not going as hard as you could be going. Yeah. Right, so it's up to you, King, to try to make it an effort to be able to get your Saturday off so you can keep this day holy and rest on that day like we're supposed to be. Doing. Right. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, Yo, hold on, but do you agree with that? I agree with that. Okay. I agree with that saying that. that are you going to try that? What you're saying is, look. Are you going to try that? I want you to understand this. I want you to understand something. By the job, the type of job that I have, I cannot get Saturdays off. But can, have you Everybody tried? has to work Saturday. Have you tried? That's part of the job's policy. So is this, the, is this the only job on the earth? Not like that. No, it's not. Right. So, brother, hey, the Lord will make a way for you, it's brother. Not, especially brother. if you're trying to it's keep the commandments. Hey, it's, it's, it's called faith. Right. So do you have that? Well, brother, you got to show it. Then. You got to show it. You can't say Faith is not just saying something. Faith is you got to show it. That's it. So if you got that faith like you say you do, then guess what, brother? You're going to try what you can and rely on the Most High God so that you can keep his commandments. All right. Right. So now, would you be willing to do that? Yeah, I'd be willing to do that. But, but, but are you going to submit to the ways of the world? Okay, I like how you, I like how you swung around and worried that when you first to get your point of call. In my, in and my, and my listen, point is what the Bible say, brother. Listen, 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 listen. I'm saying this because I love you. Every right. up here, look. Right. Right. And we want you to keep the commandments because we love you. And right. we want you to, I right. I said it again. Choose life. Right. We want you to choose life. Right. right. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all seven days mean what? What's going on, King? You got chosen people, all right, brother? We got to pick your commandments. Take a flyer, All flag, seven King. days that were given to us. Probably feel nice, King. Right. Yes, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in the Word. Okay? Uh -huh. This is what I'm to stand in. I'm listening. Now, for my faith and my belief, we use, we, we go on Sunday. Now, look, look, look. My faith and my spirit allows me to go on Sunday. It's just like, it's just like people separate. You're talking about like you did, you believe the Sabbath is on Sunday. Is that what you're saying? I say, I say it's all mixed up. And the day I, the day I use for my spirit for me is on a Sunday. I use the Sunday, the Sunday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we get, I don't want you to get into a dangerous place. You can't just pick and choose when you think the Sabbath day is. Not. Right, so when do you think the Sabbath day is? The Sabbath day, from what I understand in certain parts, is Sunday, some people say it's Saturday. The seventh day is Saturday. All I ask you. The seventh uh, day is when? Who name? Who hold on, what you say? I didn't hear what you said. Hold on, hold on, I didn't hear what the last part you said. What you say? You said the seventh day is what day? Seven days is supposed to be Saturday. Right. So they said, but all I'm telling you, Jane, is all that comes from Romans. What comes from Romans? 
Show me the Bible and say Monday or Sunday. I never Tuesday. said that that was in the Bible. Okay. I'm asking you a question. So we go about what some man put down. No, 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 no. no. You said, no, what did you say? You said Saturday is the what day? It's supposed to be Saturday. No, 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 no. It's the seventh. That's what you said. It's seven. Right. So at the end of the day, you still got seven That's days we in the week. That's what we right. Mean. The word week in the Hebrew literally goes back, or uh, 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 Salakia, uh, 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 or Salak, yeah. We actually goes back right to seven, right? When you go into the uh, 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 etymology of the word. So it's always, or a period of seven, I mean. That's literally what the word week means in Hebrew. So there's always been seven days in the week from the beginning of time. You understand? So yeah. at the end of the day, right? The seventh day is the Sabbath day, right? So whenever that seventh day is, guess what? That's the Sabbath day. I agree. Right? So with that being said, you already agree that the seventh day is Saturday, so why would you choose to blatantly go against that and keep choose, it on Sunday? Choose, you just I, said I you use Sunday as I your see, day. I see it, I see it. Okay, I, correct me if I'm wrong. I see that. What you said is correct. I don't choose to blatantly go ahead and go against that. I believe that the life, I understand in creation, God said, you know, seven days you rest. But, but what I'm saying is, uh -huh. in the seven days how we, the Romans and one of all them days, and all, all these days are new, named after me. But, but, but brother, you, you missing days. the point. You so worried about, me, you worried spirit, about the name of the, the day. Spirit, in the spirit, in the spirit, in the spirit, I'm honoring God. So I do take the, the seven, I, I take the seven day, which I believe, which I believe. See, that's going off. You can't do that, brother. I understand. You can't do that. You can't just make, I can't just make, I just can't make Tuesday the Sabbath day. Right. Ah, okay. Thank you, Mr. Right, so why? You can't do that, brother. No, I ain't so changing. you get, you gotta, go, it's I'm based on, you, you getting, word. you I'm getting, hold on, hold on. You talking about the words of the day. That, the, we don't give a damn, but the, the seventh day could be called blue day. Right. At the end of the day, if it's the seventh day, that's still the Sabbath. Right. So it don't matter about the name. Even in the Bible, they have months called the month of Bid. Right. Right? Or the month of Shev. Right, cash loot. Right, that doesn't mean that they said, "Oh no, we're not gonna keep Passover in this month because it got this name." No, 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 no. It's about what the numbers of the week are, what the numbers of the uh, months are. Right, so don't get caught up in the names. You feel me? But the point is that I'm telling you, brother, is at the end of the day, the Sabbath day, the Sabbath day is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Would you be willing to keep the Sabbath day for the Most High God? I keep the Sabbath day for the Most High God. You said what? I keep the Sabbath day for the Most High God. Right, but we can't work on that day, brother. That's the that's what the Lord said. All, all I'm saying, all I'm saying to you is that's Exodus 20. It's not about what you said to me. It's about what God said. You live in the United States of America. You right, correct? They try to do their own thing. So we as Christians, we we we, we use it. We do it. God is holding us and allowed us to use Sunday. No, no, no. Where's that in the Bible? Where's that in the Bible? No, no, I'm not letting you get away with that. Where do we say that in the Bible? No, no, no. no. Cause we can't, we not gonna just be up here saying this stuff, brother. No, no, no. Ain't a nowhere in the Bible do it say, and then the Lord, because we in America, now that it, we, now no. he gave us Sunday. Just said That's not a, in there, brother. You agree and I agree we in slavery. Correct. So, so they got their own thing. What, what, so what you mean by that? They got their own what? They got their own big laws and madness that we are well, we put into a certain degree, but we still in God. What that got to do with keeping God commandments? That's what I'm talking about, keeping God's commandment. So are you saying you can't keep his commandment? Per se. That's not what I say. So why, so why would you not be willing, Con, why would you not be willing to keep the Sabbath day? I'm not willing to keep the Sabbath day. Right, so I would you be willing to I try to I get the Sabbath day? You said what? I feel like keep the Sabbath day. You, but it's not about what you feel. It's about something. what your yeah, actions is doing. Were the people in slavery to keep the Sabbath day? Yes. They was. Go to the book of go to the book of Esther. No, 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 no. What you mean though? You I'm, 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 I'm talking I'm talking about I'm talking about Jerry Best Pad because like my grandfather knew. You said what king? Like my grandfather hey, worked on hey, Saturday hey, Sundays. Hey, my grandfather was 68 years old before he got his first car. Okay. My grandfather worked six to seven days a week. That didn't stop him from worshiping God. Okay, but that's it still God. Though. Listen, it didn't stop God from honoring you. But that brother, that's because he under slavery under rule. But no, 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 no. That's not how it works, brother. Go ahead. But tell me about it then. I got you. Because I'm saying because because they're being killed. It's the book of Proverbs. I got you. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter three, and verse number five. Bring it out. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Right. 
and lean not unto thy own understanding. Right, you don't want to lean to your own understanding, right? But my point is, right, so are you talking, to, you said your grandfather, your grandfather was a slave? My grandfather. Because you said if he, he did, you said if he didn't work on that day, he would have got killed. Yeah, he would have killed him. So he was a slave? He was a slave. His grandmother was a, was a slave. No, no, not with his grandmother. I'm asking, was he a slave? Yeah, my grandfather, my grandfather was digging ditches in 1929. Right, so that's, so that, brother, that's what you call so, so, grace and mercy. Are you going to get killed if you don't work on Saturday? So what does that got to do with you, brother? No, no, no. So, what does that have to do with you? Well, he brother? talking about the word. Hold on, no, 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 no. What does do you, you feel that he kept the Sabbath? Hold on, brother. What does you not being what, you talked about your grandfather, and yeah. if he didn't keep it, he would have got killed. Yeah. I asked you, will you yeah, get killed too. if my you're not going if you don't go to work on Saturday? You said no. no. So why can't you keep it? No, you don't, brother. From 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 from, from my. Well, well, let's see what the Bible says. Oh, go to the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. And give me Exodus 35 and 1. And I got to go after this. Okay. All right, God. You got it. Look at Exodus chapter 20 and verse oh, 8. Bring, bring it out. out. Get right to the scriptures. Look at Exodus. Look at Exodus chapter 35 and verse 1. Bring it out. And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, uh -huh. These are the words which the Lord hath commanded that ye should do them. Right. Six days shall work be done. So you got six days to do whatever you need to do. Do your work, buy, sell, do whatever you got to do. But read on. But on the seventh day, there shall be to you an holy day. But on that seventh day, that's a holy day, read. A Sabbath of rest. Supposed to rest, relax, right? Worship the Most High God, read on. To the Lord, whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. Right, now obviously back then you would get put to death. Right? Obviously now you don't have a bunch of a group of us that's gonna go through and stone another brother for not keeping the Sabbath day. That's where grace and mercy come in. But at the end of the day, we still have to strive to keep that to the best of our ability. I understand that we in slavery and we in captivity right now. I understand that there's certain instances where you might have to do what you gotta do for a period of time before it's a, something opens up for you and you're able to get out that situation. But, that's where I'm at. but, but, but no, 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 you didn't say that though, brother. You said, I feel like I'm keeping it. No, 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 you said, I feel like I'm keeping it. But you're doing it wrong, brother. Listen, listen, listen. No, no, you gotta listen, brother. Are you keeping it? Yeah, you go here. Did I do that one time? I'm trying to, what I'm saying is. But brother, you're not listening to, you're not listening to. Right. You keep saying, I feel like I'm keeping it. I feel like I'm keeping it, but you're not. Right. But then, but then, but then I didn't, I didn't get you to break down whole, all of it. I said, I had to go. No, you got to speak I'm up. A, I'm at a, huh? I said, speak up a little bit. I, I, I can't. I'm at a particular point right now. Man, it's like, people are like, God gave me a good job. And if he didn't want me to have it, I wouldn't have it. Now, what you just said, in my beliefs also, is keep the Sabbath day, you don't work on, you don't work on, uh, or see, like the same, you don't work on Sundays, you know, be like, the same thing, be like, man, you work on Sundays, Sunday, so well, I got to, I got to do this, I got to do that. But I also feel, and know in my spirit, when you pray, pray God, God, God will put you where he needs you to be, and you ask, you ask, not you ask. I, so, I, I, so, I, so I, would you be I, 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 willing to ask the pray to the Most High God that He can open something up for you so oh, that you go and gotta work on the Sabbath day? You don't right. understand this. Hold on, answer. Can you answer the question, brother? Yes or no? Yeah, but I'm, but I'm trying to tell you is I think go to a, a different, totally different level, bro. I fit over my own organization, Lord so Lord. I ain't gotta work on Saturday. See, you understand that? You can't attack people when you don't know. No, you but you didn't. First no, question, you, you gotta said, ask me. No, 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 no. You didn't say that, brother. I ain't you gotta said you all of that, though. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying your whole point was you feel like you're keeping it. So yeah. it don't matter if you yeah. go and you open up your own job. Guess what? If you go and open up your own job, you, you still going to go out on the Sabbath day and buy and sell. Or you might go in one time and work on that Saturday thinking that that's okay. My point is that's not oh, okay. That's I all do. I'm saying. I do. I'm just saying, I'm trying to let you know where the error is. That's uh, all I'm saying. I agree with that. That's all I'm saying. You know, uh, some, most of all, uh, uh, what you said was, I, I agree with and like your presentation. See, let me say something. Some brothers got to look at their presentation. No matter who and what you think you are, and I ain't talking about you, I'm talking about all, all beliefs. That will be a presentation. Because the presentation is everything. The presentation is everything. I'm going to give you an example. We always say the customer's always right. That customer's saying is, people come into a store, hey man, you know what, I'm focused on you, it's broke, uh, it might not have been broke, 
but the bottom line is you don't want to give you back the product or give you your money yeah. back. I have to take you that because one person tells ten, ten tells four. See? So you might be a good brother, but they run a whole neighborhood and say, man, do he give me dirty, give me wrong. Presentations, but you know, that's what I was saying with the customers always. I got one last. I got one day. I gotta go. Okay, I got one last thing. One quick me. thing because obviously I know you will be a follower of Christ. I would assume, right? You try, you try to follow him to the best of your ability, right? Obviously, we talked about the Sabbath day. He's like, hey, then right now, this is you feel me? This is what I, I got right now. But I'm trying to get my own thing. All praise to the Most High. But we can't. It's no buying, no I'll selling. Take it back. Not trying. Not trying. Going to do all praise. I like that. All praises. All praise. And Lord willing, and Lord willing, I hope you. And Lord willing, Lord willing, I pray you do, brother. But my point is, right, right now, you saying that, right? It's a, 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 it's a little hindrance at this particular moment. Lord willing, you able to get past that. That's all it is. I don't expect you to just up and just drop it today, right? That'd be mighty, but I don't. Know. You feel me? We realistic up here, bro. But I'm gonna give you something that you can keep. Right, expeditiously, Lord, works, right? Expeditiously. Go to the book of uh, Matt, uh, uh, yeah, the book of um, Numbers, chapter 16 and 38. Right, a simple, simple commandment, King. Simple commandment. A commandment that even Christ himself kept. Book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse number 38. Bring it on! Unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes. You know what fringes are, King? Say it one more time. You know what fringes are? Fringes are the good. Fringes are. That's what you see these brothers got on. Yeah, yeah, freak, yeah, yeah. Right? That's what that is. Because what's your nationality? What did God call you? He called me man. He called me, he called me nationality. He called me man. He called me. Is uh, man a nationality? No. no. Come on, brother. You an intelligent brother. No, man is not nationality. Right, so what's your, what did God call us for a nationality? From me, from me. From me. Come on, brother. Don't make us go all the way around the corner. Right. Brother. Come on, brother. You already said it. You already went through that. What did I say? So that's why you should know it. What did God call you? He called, what did he call you? Hebrew? You said what? Israelites. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Who the Israelites? It's the only children of God. I said who? You were part of the 12 tribes. Who? Man. <laughs> so everybody on the earth is Israelite. <laughs> No. So who the Israelites? Who the Israelites? Who the Israelites? Who the Israelites? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who the Israelites? That's right. You say we are. What do you say? Black people. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All praise. Just making sure, brother, because they, they kind of it was getting rough. It was turbulence was there for a minute. Hey, my brother, look, look. All right, but look, 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 this is the one command. Take this up. Uh, I just said it. Yeah, go right. We just said in basement in the '70s and '80s and talking to teachers over this man. And they told you you was an Israelite. I've been through all. They told you you was an Israelite. Back and forth. They told you you was an Israelite. Yeah, people have their, people have their inner told me a whole lot. So do you believe you're an Israelite? Huh? Do you believe you're an Israelite? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. I believe that, and I'm going to keep going thousands. Okay, give me the book. Because I'm the type of person, I don't care if I, I, don't care if I was in front of 20,000, I'm going to keep going to tell you exactly how I'm For sure, and I respect that. I feel we come from the lineage of the lineage of the said what? You said what, King? I, I feel we come, I come from the lineage. The of lineage of what? Oh, you said you feel like you come from the lineage of Israel? Yeah. yeah. You, cause you are. It's, you it's, in, the, it's, in, it's, in, it's in my uh, it's in my blood. For that's sure. right. That's right, right, brother. You royalty. Right. I know that. Right? How you know it? Huh? How you know it? Why are you royalty? You don't you have to have your y'all do it. Nah, brother. You gonna give me a job? You gonna give me a job? Not on the seventh day. Hey, the Lord will give you a job. Right, right. right. I don't need and, be, and, be, and, best and best believe, and best believe, if I had the means to, I would. He always right. have. He always right. has. Man, but what we always have because the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children. Right. 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 This is the last commandment, brother. That I, that we will uh, be yeah. for the day. Do that Number work. fifteen and thirty-eight. Speak unto the children of Israel, right? And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right? It said that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. That word bid in the Hebrew literally goes back to the word command. You understand? So this is a commandment, right? Not only that, Christ himself wore fringes. Why? Because he kept the commandments. So would you be willing to keep the commandments and wear oh, fringes, oh, brother? Oh, oh. Now from the word, when you look it up, he wore a garment that didn't have no 
nothing on it. Where is that at? The street. Did he have a garment? He had no chairs, no cuts, no, no nothing on it. Uh, uh, you gotta speak up. I never, I never seen anybody here at Freaky Zone. Okay, let's get it for the king. Right, yeah, go, to the, book, go to the book of Matthew that, chapter that's uh, 14 in the last verse. Right, and give me that in the, uh, uh, in the, uh, in the blue letter. It's the book of St. Matthew chapter 14 and verse. Last verse. Book of St. Matthew chapter 14 and verse number 36. Bring it on! And besought him that they might only touch the him. It said that they might only touch the him. Now when you go to that word him in the Greek, no, no. When you go to that word him in the Greek, right, you got that for me? Check this out, check this out. Hold on, hold on. Dude, we about to do the end. Like, I don't listen. None, no Greek was stole from black people and switch around. Brother, no, 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 no. It's about the, it's about a language, brother. I understand the language. Right. You believe in the Bible, I right? The Greek. I understand the But I always see that even in, even in Christianity, everybody with the Greek says that they go to the Hebrew. No, 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 no. That's not what we talking about. No, brother, you are not listening, brother. That's we not talking about what the Greek. Hold on, but we not talking about what the Greeks did. We're talking about the language. Understand? All we going into is the transliteration of the word him. Right? What does it mean? Right? This is him in the Greek, Strong's G2899. Bring it out. Right? Uh, Kaspadum. Right? And it means a fringe. A what? A, a fringe. What did Christ have on? A, a fringe. fringe. Like that. A tassel. Right? He had on fringes. A tassel. Right? A tassel is this. A fringe. Same thing. Right? So Christ did have that on his garment. Right? So that's where you could go in in the scriptures to see where he was keeping the law. And have written. That's a tassel. That's a tassel. That's a tassel. What kind of frame? Brother, that right what did, brother, brother what, did this, what did the scripture say? I heard it. I'll pray to the most high. Right? That's the whole point, brother. Right? Do I got fringes on, brother? Ah. Uh, all right. I'll pray okay, to okay, the most okay, high. Okay. Okay. Right? So look. Now, now. Hold the point is. Hold on. The blue part. Hold on, brother. Hold on. The yellow part is a tassel. Hold on, brother. I'm hold sorry. On. I thought you first. Hold on. Right. It's Wait. reverse. Right. But look. The point is, right, in the law it said that we got to wear fringes in the border of our garments. Would you be willing to keep that commandment, King? As a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah and as a follower of Christ? Would you want to be even, would you want to be even more like Christ and wear fringes like how Christ did? In my, in my, in my spirituality, in my spirituality. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before we get to that, it's a yes or no question. Would you be willing to be more like Christ? And would you be willing to be more like Christ and wear fringes? You said what? He said, "Oh, I don't have to dress like him exactly to be like him." You said, "Y'all have to dress like him, dress like him to be like him." Brother, every Israel, every Israelite dressed like that. Why? Because it was a commandment. Right. Respect, respect that. Right. So it's not just about my point. The only reason I said that about Christ because you said you call yourself a Christian. If you're a Christian, that means you're Christ-like. Right. So if you want to be Christ-like, why wouldn't you keep the commandment of wearing fringes like how Christ did? So would you be willing to do that? For me, no. Dang. Uh, uh, you want me to lie to you? You want me to one hundred? Okay, okay. I, I, I can, I can, res I can, res I, I can respect that. But why not? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why not? Why not, King? Why not? Because in my, in my spirituality, not, not knocking anything that you do, like I said before. I respect you. You carry, you carry yourself, but for me, in my spirituality. God, God, life. Then, then, uh, then, in order to honor God, don't you gotta keep His commandments? Understand that. Hold on. So no, you don't understand it. Because if you understand it, then you would keep the commandment right. of wearing fringes. Right. So you don't understand it, brother. I understand it, but I don't but I understand it. So basically, you want to do what you want to do. <laughs> you sound like you're going to laugh, you're going to laugh. Because I heard my father say that was a kid. So you want to do what you want to do. Right, right. You sound, no, you sound no, like just like. No, no, no. I understand what you're saying. That's right. I understand what you're saying. Because like, like I said before, in my, in my, I didn't say religious. My spirit, right, right, your spirituality. Your spirituality. My spirituality. Because I don't. I don't dress like a lot of people in the church and something they do all that. Because it don't make it, for me, it don't make no difference what you got on if you live in if you live in the world. But, but you, for Christ, if you got God in you, if you got God in you, brother, it don't make no difference if you, if you walk around in a towel. But if you, if you got God's spirit inside you, if you live in it, God's out of there. So you don't believe we gotta keep the commandments, do you? But see, I understand where you. Hold on, hold on. Can you answer that question you first? This. Hold on, hold on. I understand well, where you. Well, I understand. Girl, take that walking stick next time you chase me with it. Shove up your fucking so you can say, "Oh Lord, so help so me, 
Thank God this motherfucker's still in my ass! Get it out of my ass, boy! Oh, thank you, child! That's crazy. That's crazy. You got people like that crazy. You got people like that crazy. What you do is, seeing that you have a... Hold on, hold on, but I don't want to get on him, bro. I don't want to get on him. I don't want to get on him. No, 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 because we talking about keeping the commandments, bro. back to that. No, that's that's the most... Is it... What's more important? Continuing to learn about the commandments or trying to... Oh, right, right, exactly. You divine spirit like they come by you supposed to pray. No, no, come on, brother. They don't say that in the Bible. I didn't say that. I didn't say I don't believe it, but they don't say when the, 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 the demonic spirit walked past. Who supposed to pray? I didn't say that. What you I say, didn't, brother? I'm I sorry. Didn't say that. What say you say? No in the Bible. I said, I'm telling you as a spiritual man, when some when a negative spirit comes by you, that person has been possessed negatively. Should pray for them that they be released. I pretty much hurt them, hurt themselves, and hurt nobody else. Some things God put in you, you know that. I ain't got to tell you. Okay, that. look, brother. So back to the back to the main back to the back to the main point. There's nothing wrong with. First of all, there's nothing wrong with what you said, right? I agree with that, right? If it's our people. Now listen. Uh, right. <laughs> 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 It was on time. Would you, would you be, why wouldn't you be, because you keep talking about my, my, my spirituality, my spirituality, my spirituality. Is it about your spirituality or about what God said? Right. If God told us to keep the commandments. Whoa, 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 whoa. My spirituality ain't coming from God. Hey, hey, man. No, it don't. 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 I, God wouldn't God wouldn't tell somebody not to keep the commandments. Right. Oh, I ain't never said that. But you just said you said that. no, you said my spirituality exactly. comes from God. But That's then right. you turned around and told me that you are not gonna keep the commandment of wearing fringes. I don't believe because that. of your spirituality. I don't believe, I don't so believe. clearly that's not of God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't believe that. You gotta speak up a little bit. Some, I don't believe that some of the things the that you do don't make me wrong either. Hold on, hold on, brother. I'm, we're not talking about that. We talking about what God said. Do you believe God told us that? Yes or no? no Did what? God tell us that we gotta wear fringes? All right. Huh? Yes or no? You were talking about slavery. Hold on, no, no, I, no, I, no. I no. You running I, from I it, brother? I don't believe. No, it, stop running, brother. Did I ain't God tell you? Tell you. Did, did God tell mean. us we gotta keep the black commandments man. of wearing fringes? <laughs> And I like, and I respect, I respect you what you like just did too. But I'm gonna ask you a question exactly, exactly before I get fired. It ain't none of these brothers skinny and grinning. Go help me do anything else later, bro. That being it, that. Brother, they got us. We gotta wear fringes. I don't believe. I don't believe in materialistic things that I have to deal. And I say that from my spirituality, my belief don't have to have. I don't. I, I have to dress that certain way. I understand you said you've been around my whole life. I respect that, but for me and my faith, I so don't can you show me? Can you can way. you quote a scripture in the Bible that validates that line of thinking? Grace. No, 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 That's not how that works. That's not how that works. You are you knowingly not doing something. You can't just chalk it up to grace. Right. The Lord gonna kill people like that, brother. When you go, when you go to. Cultural, cultural. No, brother, can you, you show go the Is country, there something to, in the Bible that validates what you're saying? You go to, have you ever been out the country? Brother, yes, I have. Is there anything, is there anything, no, no, is, not, is there not, anything in the Bible, country. is there anything in the Bible that validates what you are saying about you not having to wear fringes? Precept, King. Hold on. I, I never, you just explain what you explain. I don't see, I don't see it that way. No, 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 I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you, is there something, in, is there a scripture in the Bible that can validate your line of thinking of not having the word fringes? No, not if, then, then, I mean, not you, just, you just winging it, brother. No, 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 I ain't, I ain't you just leaning on your own no, belly. No, 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 you can't no, do that. that. That's what, no, exactly, you can't do that. But what I'm gonna do is, what I, what I'm gonna do, I remember what you just said. And they said, I'm not going to say this long, I'm going to take seven minutes at the book. And I'm going to show you a script, I'm going to go look it up. About as far as holding and dressing concerned, where it is, how I feel that I don't have to wear it. I'll show you this. Lord willing. All right, Lord willing. You guys have a blessed day. You too, brother. Lord willing. Go to the book of Proverbs. Go to the book of Proverbs 14 and 12. Book of Proverbs chapter 14. And verse number 12. Yeah. Yeah. And it reads, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. What the Lord said? There, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Read it one more time. There, there is, is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Read. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Right? That's what happens when you lean on your own understanding. 
Right. right, and you just, you chalk everything up to what you feel, and you end the now about it. Just blatantly wanting to do what you want to do at the end of the day, man. Go to that, go to that in the book of Job chapter 13 and start at verse 4. You can't speak wickedly for the most high. Right. Right? right? And chalk something up to the most high, that's why you're doing what you're doing. It don't work like that, man. Right. Go ahead. Book of Job chapter 13, verse 4. Bring it out. Oh, but ye are forgers of lies. Of what? Of lies. lies. That's a lie, man. Right. Oh, you know, everything is everything is about what you feel like you don't have to do or what you feel like it is. Right. Nothing is coming from the scriptures, man. Right, go ahead. Ye are all physicians of no value. Uh-huh. Oh, that ye would sorry, oh that ye would all together hold your peace. Read. And it should be your wisdom. Go ahead. Reading on. Hear now my reasoning. Hearken to the pleadings of my lips. Will ye speak wickedly for God? What Job say? Will, Will ye speak, speak wickedly, wickedly for God? God? Right, and that's what our people can't do, man. You can't speak wickedly for the Most High, man. You can't do that. Speaking wickedly for the Most High, man, that's stuff that gets you killed, man. That's why you think the Lord said, hey, and for everything that proceeded, uh, uh, or paraphrasing greatly, but hey, you're going to have to take account of that at the end. Right. Every word that every uh, proceeded, word. That, yeah, every out of word that proceeded out of your mouth, man. You're going to have to take an account of that in the last day. And try to, you can't get, it, when, when that day comes, you're not going to be able to justify yourself and why you, well, I didn't do this because this is how I felt. Right. No, it don't work like that. Right. You're just going to eat a missile. Right. And if you don't get killed by the missile, you're going to eat a laser. Right. Right. Uh, That's yeah, how it is, man. Like, so we got to get out of this. Give me that in the book of Proverbs chapter 24. Uh, go to Proverbs chapter 28. Proverbs 28 and start at verse uh, 4. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 4. Bring it up. They that forsake the law. They that what? They, they that, that forsake, forsake the law. The law praise, praise the, the wicked. wicked. Right? It said they that forsake the law praise the wicked and not That's even right. knowing it, man. People do that all the time and not even knowing it. All you're doing is praising and uplifting the wicked, man. Right. Thinking that it's righteous. Go ahead. But such as keep the law. But such as what? But, but such, such as, as keep, keep the law. law. Read. Contend with them. That's why when people come up here, they think we arguing with them. It's only an argument because you want to do wicked. Right. That's why you feel like it's an argument. All we trying to do is take you out of the way of error because we love you, man. Right. It's cold as hell outside, man. We could be yeah, we yeah. could be at home right now with our families teaching our house over, right. Man. right. Right. Drinking yon yon, man. Right. Yon yon. Right. Right. With our feet up in the recliner chair, man. Right. Right. Right? Scratching your belly or your ass. Oh, 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 But we out here, but we, 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 but no, on the serious though, we don't like, but we doing this out of the love for our people, man. That's why right. people come out here and they talking about all this shit. Or it's this, or it's the five. Hey, man, we, we do this a lot, man. Right, right. We gotta deal with wicked Jake all the damn time. Ha. So excuse me if a little bit of time, me or one of my brothers get frustrated, man. Right. It's because we love our people and our people want to continue to walk on in darkness, man. Right. Ha. And want to just, and we'll hear the words of the Lord, but blatantly go to the side of it, man. Right. Ha. Madness. Right. So excuse us if we get a little frustrated up here. Come Right? But all in all, we still try to deal in patience and love, man. Right? right? But I don't have sympathy for all that, all that, oh, well, it's the way that you're talking. No, look, hey, our, if our forefathers are here, I promise it'll be way worse. Right, right? here? I promise it'll be way worse. Come on! got smacked. Right? Go ahead, read on. Read that again. Read that key read. Come They that forsake the law, praise the wicked. Right? But such as keep the law, contend with them. Right. Evil men understand not judgment. Read it again. Evil men understand, understand not judgment. I said evil men understand not judgment. Right. That's why sometimes it's hard to be understood when you bring a commandment out to somebody or bring out the words of the Lord to somebody and they and they just say, oh, no, it ain't so. Right. It ain't so. No, 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 no. That's because the evil man won't understand. God. Why? Because, hold that. Somebody go to the book of Proverbs chapter of. Give me the book of Proverbs chapter 17 and start at verse 15. Proverbs 17 and 15. Book of Proverbs chapter 17 and verse number 15. Bring it out. And it reads, He that justifieth the wicked uh -huh. and he that condemneth the just, right. even they both are abominations of the Lord. Go ahead. Read on. 
are an abomination to the Lord. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, uh -huh. seeing he hath no heart to, to it? Read on. Con, a friend loveth at all times. Oh, so I, I read over the point. Uh, 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 start at 14 and then go read 15. Again. So I, Proverbs 17 and verse 14. Yeah. Right out. The beginning of strife is as when one let it out water. Therefore, leave off contention before it be meddled with. Slacky, before it be meddled with. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abominations. Right, so the Lord. Lord said, He that condemneth the wicked, right, but you try to justify, uh, 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 or Slacky, like he that condemneth the righteous, but try to justify the wicked, hey, that's off. Right. Yeah. You can't do that. So neither, and it's not always talking about a person. Guess what? When you justify wicked ways, man, right. that's off. Right. You just blatantly, the Lord said, the Lord blatantly say one thing and you just blatantly just like, nah, 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 but, but my spirituality, right. my spirituality this, my spirituality that, your spirituality is built off of wickedness, man. Right. Now our people got to stop doing that, man. Because yeah. that's, it's not going, it's not going to end well. At all. That's why, that's why we need the words of the Lord, man. Right. right. That right there. And there's so many instances that's made manifest right before us all the time, man, of why we need the scriptures and why our people need the scriptures. God. Because if we didn't have the scriptures, everybody just, it'll just be a world fit. It'll be like exactly what the world is like now. Right. But it'll be exactly what the world is right now. A, a gang of people just leaning on their own understanding and doing what they want to do. God. Right? And that's why things are such as they are now, man. It's niggas like that, man. And I hate saying stuff like this, but it's niggas like that. Oh, why we got in this position even in the first place? God. Because Jake want to do what they want to do. Give me that in the book. Of, go, uh, go back to that in Numbers 15. Seven niggas. Numbers 15. Yeah, yeah. Book of start, at, start at 36. Numbers 15 and verse 36. Bring it out. Out. And it reads, And all the congregation brought him without the camp. And stole No, no, no. Yeah, I need you to start at, start verse. at verse 34. Yeah. God. Verse 30, 34. And they put him in word. Because it was not declared. Start, start at 30. Start at 30. Verse number 30 of Numbers chapter 15. But the soul that doeth aught presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproaches the Lord. That's cool, read on. And that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Go ahead. Because he hath despised the word of the Lord and hath broken his commandment. That soul shall utterly be cut off. His iniquity shall be upon him. Verse 32. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man. They did what? They, they found, found a man, man. Go ahead. that gathered sticks. That did what? That yeah. gathered yeah. sticks Read. upon the Sabbath day. On what day? Uh, upon upon the, the Sabbath day. day. They had a, 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 a nigga that was hard headed. Right. And, 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 and there ain't no other way to put it. Just a, 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 a hard headed Negro, man. Right. A fool. Go ahead. And they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses. And right, and the latter end of that, what he got, he got killed, man. Right. Because he blatantly went against what the Lord said to do, man. And right. that's a, what, how a lot of our people are wired even today, man. They blatantly go against the, what the Lord said. Right. And try, to, and try to come up with an idea on why they justified and what they doing, man. But the Lord said there's a way that seemeth right into a man, but the ends, the, the ends thereof are the ways of death. That's right. That's why you have to, you have to hinge and and base everything off of the precepts, right. not off of your own mind. Because a man could guess what? You have men on the earth that justify uh, uh, the p word, man. We ain't gonna say it, right? But you have you have men, you have men that justify wicked acts, man. That that, that have no business just being justified, right? Right. So our people got to get right, man, or get left in these last days. Man. That's right. 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 So with that, I want to give all honor and glory to you. How about Shimei Al Shah? Quan Nashal. Quan Nashal. Quan Nashal. Quan Nashal. Quan Nashal. We ship. We what? We ship. We what? We ship. How did we get to America? On ships, right? So it, it, did everybody on the earth go into slavery on ships? Who went into slavery on ships, brother? That's right. Going crazy. You for yourself, no perfectly. Let the day of the Lord stop coming as a thief in the night. What? As and a thief in the night. A thief in the night. All right. The Lord is gonna come as a thief in the night, man. Nobody knows when the Lord is gonna come back. All right. Nobody knows. This the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven and verse twenty-four. Now, for wisdom is more lonely than any motion. For wisdom is more.
thing is gonna move you more than anything, man. Right? It's gonna move you more than damn weed. Right? It's gonna move you more than that damn Hennessy bottle. Right? It's gonna sit there and move you more than damn Keisha, uh, 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 uh Letitia, right? And all these damn uh heathenistic women, man. Right, right, right. right. Oh, you're going crazy.